Once upon a time, there was a person who was deeply curious about the truth of life. This curiosity led him on a journey far and wide, seeking answers to the questions that stirred within his heart. His quest for understanding took him to many places, each offering its own piece of wisdom, yet none satisfying his thirst for the ultimate truth. During his travels, he encountered someone who suggested he visit a cave known for its sage, a wise man rumored to possess profound insights into the mysteries of existence. With a glimmer of hope, the seeker made his way to the cave, where he indeed found the sage, an old man with eyes that seemed to reflect the depths of the universe. The sage listened to the man's quest for truth and then advised him to visit a village, where at its crossroad, he would find what he was seeking. With renewed enthusiasm, the man set off to find this village, his heart beating with anticipation for the revelation that awaited him. After a long journey, he arrived at the village and found the crossroad the sage had spoken of. There, he saw three shops. One sold metal pieces, another sold wood, and the third sold thin wires. He observed these shops for a long time, trying to decipher their significance and how they could possibly lead him to the truth he so desperately sought. However, no matter how much he pondered, he couldn't see any connection to the revelation of truth. Feeling disappointed and somewhat misled, he returned to the sage, seeking an explanation. Upon hearing the man's account, the sage simply said, you will understand in the future. Unsatisfied and seeking immediate answers, the man pressed for more, but the sage remained silent. Frustrated and feeling like he had been chasing shadows, the man left the cave, continuing his search elsewhere, though with a dwindling hope. Years passed, and the memory of the cave, the sage, and the village crossroad faded into the background of his life's many experiences. Then, one night, as he was walking, the sound of enchanting music captured his attention. It was unlike anything he had ever heard, a melody so captivating that it seemed to speak directly to his soul. Drawn to the source of the music, he found a musician playing a sitar, his fingers dancing gracefully over its strings. In that moment, a profound realization struck him. The sitar, with its strings of wire, its body of wood, and its decorations of metal, was a perfect amalgamation of the items he had seen at the three shops at the village crossroad. The truth he had been seeking was suddenly clear to him. The sage's message was now understood. The essence of life's truth was not to be found in seeking external answers or collecting pieces without understanding their significance. Instead, it was about recognizing that everything needed for a meaningful existence was already within one's grasp. The challenge was to assemble these pieces in the right way, to see beyond their individuality and understand their potential when combined. This revelation was profound and simple at the same time. It taught him that the pursuit of truth was not about finding new elements in the external world, but about seeing the familiar in new, interconnected ways. Each experience, every encounter, and all the seemingly mundane elements of life held within them the potential for creating something beautiful and meaningful, much like the sitar that produced such mesmerizing music from a combination of simple materials. In sharing this story, the message to the audience is clear, look around you, and recognize that the ingredients for a fulfilling life are already present. The challenge lies not in seeking what we think we lack, but in understanding and appreciating what we already possess. By assembling our experiences, knowledge, and resources in creative and purposeful ways, we can uncover the truth of our existence and live lives of profound meaning. The journey towards truth, therefore, is not an outward quest but an inward exploration of how we can bring together the fragments of our lives into a harmonious and purposeful whole.